This is problem 3-59 from R.C. Hibbeler, Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the largest mass of the cylinder for equilibrium and we are restricted to take maximum tension as 1000 newtons. To solve this problem, first of all we have to, to find the coordinates of these points. So our first point is point A. Now point A is at the origin, so it's 0, 0, 0 meter. Second is point B. Now point B is covering 1 meter in the negative x-axis, so it's negative 1, 1.5 1 in the positive y-axis. 3 in the z axis meter. Third point is point C. Negative 1 in the negative x axis, comma, negative 2 in the negative y axis, right here, and 2 in the z axis for the point. For the point D, I have 3 in the positive x-axis, 4 in the negative y-axis and 0 in the z-axis. These are our coordinates. I request to the new viewers that please subscribe my channel for more content okay let's get back to our problem now i have some of the forces generated in these strings because of the weight so let's call this fab fac and fad now i have to resolve these forces into the cartesian vector form so we know that a vector has, let's say this is a force vector, its magnitude and its direction. So similarly we have let's say F A B. So it has a magnitude which is unknown right now and its direction. But we are going to find this direction with the help of a unit vector. So right here it's a unit vector. Now unit vector can also be written as the position vector divided by its magnitude. So the unit vector UAB is equal to coordinates of point B minus coordinates of point A. So we have negative 1 minus 0 i plus 1.5 minus 0 j plus 3 minus 0 k divided by square root of negative 1 square plus 1.5 square plus 3 squared the so UAB is equal to negative 2 over 7 I plus 3 over 7 J plus 6 over 7 K now if I put this UAB into this equation then FAB in terms of Cartesian vector form can be written as negative 2 over 7 FAB I plus 3 over 7 FAB J plus 6 over 7 FAB K
similarly for the course FAC FSC is equal to its magnitude times its unit vector unit vector UAC equal to coordinates of point C minus coordinates of point A divided by square root of negative 1 square plus negative 2 square plus 2 square so UAC is equal to 1 over 3 I it's negative plus 2 over sorry it's also negative plus 2 over 3k FSC in terms of Cartesian vector form is equal to negative 1 over 3 FA C I minus 2 over 3 FACJ plus FAC 2 over 3k Now we have one more force which is FAD for the force FAD FAD is also equal to its magnitude times its direction UAD is equal to coordinates of point D minus coordinates of point A so it's 3 minus 0 I plus negative 4 minus 0 J and 0 minus 0 K divided by 3 square plus negative 4 whole square so it's 3 over 5 i minus 4 over 5 j fat is equal to 3 over 5 fat i minus 4 over 5 fat j Now we have to solve all the forces into Cartesian vector form. We have one more force which is acting in the negative z axis is the weight of this cylinder. The weight of the cylinder. Is equals to mass times acceleration due to gravity and it's in negative that axis it's negative 9.81 m k now I have to sum up all the respective force components along x-axis I have negative 2 over 7 FAB negative 1 over 3 FSC plus 3 over 5 FAD equals 0 let's call this equation 1 along 
y-axis I have 3 over 7 FAB minus 2 over 3 FAC minus 4 over 5 FAB J equals 0 let's call this equation 2 along that axis I have 6 over 7 FAB plus 2 over 3 FAC and this force which is due to the weight of the cylinder negative 9.81 m equals 0 no. let's call this equation 3 now we are given another condition that the maximum tension could be taken as 1000 newtons what force among these should be considered 1000 newtons as the maximum value so if you look at the figure if I zoom in then observe that for the largest mass of the cylinder we have to select the force which has the maximum z component in the opposite direction so among these three forces the maximum z component of the force is of force FAB so we have to first consider that FAB is equals to maximum value 1000 newtons because FAB is supporting the maximum mass of the cylinder because it has the highest Z component in the opposite direction like FAD has no component in the Z direction and FAC has a vertical component but it is not as big as this FAB component there is a difference of 1 meter so FAB will reach the maximum tension of 1000 newtons so you can write here an statement Now statement is here FAB is the maximum why because it has the largest Z component Thus, supporting the largest weight of the cylinder FAP is equal to thousand newtons if now if I put FAP equal thousand newtons in the equation one and two then I have put FAB equal thousand newtons in equation 1 and 2 so equation 1 and 2 will become like this 
negative 2 over 7 into 1000 minus 1 over 3 have AC plus 3 over 5 FAD equal 0 let's call this equation A similarly equation 2 would become 3 over 7 1000 minus 2 over 3 FAC minus 4 over 5 FAD equal 0 let's call this equation B from equation A and B FAC is equal to 42.86 newtons and FAD is equal to 500 newtons so we have to put the values of FAC and FAB into equation 3 putting good FAC and FAB in equation 3 from equation 3 our equation 3 will become 6 over 7 into 1000 plus 2 over 3 into 42.86 minus 9.81 into the m which is the mass equal 0 from here m is equal to 90.3 kg now this is the answer of this problem If you made this to this far then please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any questions about this problem you can ask them in the comment section and I will be happy to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.